Members of Survival, Evasion, Resistance, and Escape, or SEER, conducted a joint training exercise with the Nebraska Army National Guard. Uh, we're doing a joint hoist refresher event here on Offutt Air Force Base. Uh, to my knowledge, it's the first time this has been done formally here on the installation. Uh, we are here to uh, basically refresh our hoist training, which is a uh, to maintain our basic mission capable status. The UH-60 will approach. Uh, we will have someone simulating a downed air crew member or isolated person, as we would designate them in our career field. And that person is going to await a recovery device to be lowered from the UH-60 to the ground. Uh, what's important in that process is that they wait for the hoist device to actually make contact with the ground. Otherwise, the static shock that kind of gets picked up in the hoist device can deliver quite a shock to the person getting hoisted. So once that device grounds out, makes contact with the ground, they'll try to securely grasp the device, get inside of the device, and signal to be recovered or hoisted up to the uh, deck of the UH-60. Hoist operations are somewhat routine for the 104th Medevac Company. Realistically, so hoist training is something that we do frequently uh, with our mission and it's always good to, to uh, train it and stay proficient with it, um, especially with new people. We're hoping we can, we can continue this relationship with them. I think we got some pretty mutually beneficial stuff. For 55th Wing Public Affairs, where the sun never sets on the Fighting 55th, I'm Kevin Schwank.